Hello everyone and welcome back to the Political Machine 2012. I uh, had a, a lot of fun playing this game and I've been playing this game and it's a lot of fun for me so I'm gonna I'm gonna do a playthrough of it. Uh, I'm not gonna do an epic playthrough. Let's do uh, let's do medium and starting funds. We'll put it back to a hundred regular and uh, I don't know. Let's go with simple. I'm still not the best at it, but I've, I have played some, so it's not too easy. Uh, player name, who should we be this time? Uh, someone unbiased, uh, who would never, ever, ever be president, or a historical figure, perhaps. Who should we be? Who should we be? Let me think here. Uh... Hmm. Think, everyone, think. Give me your mental power so I can do it myself. Hmm. Oh, I'm drawing a blank. I really don't know of someone we could do. Um. Sh okay. Just the first thing popped into my head. There you go, King George III. <laughs> uh, that's the first thing popping in my head, so that's what we're running with. Uh, uh, we're gonna go with custom again, and uh, custom. We'll edit for new. No, sorry, whoops. Back. New. Yeah, his first name will be New, and his second name will be Cannon. I don't really know King George's... Well, I know King George's first name. But, uh... So he's gonna be... Yeah, well, you know what, we'll just call him King George. First name being King. Well, you know what? Hmm. You know, maybe we should run down the list here and see who we could uh, who we could choose, so that I don't have to create my own character. Huh. Hmm. Well, let's pick an older uh, older president so that we can stay somewhat politically unbiased again, as of before. I'm not going to be throwing out my political party. Not that it really matters, but uh, why are there only Democrats here? The, no, everyone's a Democrat here. All right, my party. Are the Republicans at the top? No. Oh well, yeah, duh. I just pick Republicans. No, duh. I have to pick Democrat to go against. <laughs> um. Oh, let's go against Obama, I guess. Might as well. Alright, start it up. Let's see who would win. Washington or Obama? Who do you guys think? Go ahead. Go in the comments below and go wild. Alright, of course, uh, Washington was born in Virginia. The great state of Virginia. And uh, we most definitely should win that. Well, not only because, well, it's kind of a swing state, so it could be either go either way, but, uh, because it's your hometown. <clears throat> Sorry, hometown. Um, let's give another speech. If you didn't see by, uh, if, you, if you're looking for an explanation of this game, then you can, uh, go back to my, uh, uh, gameplay with play, and that'll give you a pretty good, uh, idea of what I'm doing here. But if you didn't see it, then you're probably going to want to go look at that before uh, before you watch this, because you might not understand it all too well. And actually, I'm going to try and build my HQ here, or upgrade it. Okay. So we get more funds, and uh, let's try fundraising, I guess. It's kind of a small... You know what? Cancel. Yeah, but if I move anywhere, I'm not going to be able to do it. 
Might as well take whatever they give me. Um, oh, what I didn't mention last time was this top part. I can't believe I forgot about this. But uh, this pretty much tells you who's winning and uh, the news and the views. This is regular polling data, awareness, like uh, who knows who you, where you, uh, who knows about you pretty much. Electoral votes, the, the more pink or purple, whatever you want to call it. I think it's pink, yeah. Uh, the more votes that the electoral votes that they're worth, and the state wealth is pretty much almost identical to the the uh, same thing, but it actually means it's a uh, wealth of the state. And then here's the planning: who, what you could do to win easily, anyway. But we're gonna stick with this because this is the easiest one to uh, control and see what's going on. So. Oh, 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 fly there. No, he's going to beat me there anyway. Nope, he's not. So we're going to go there. North Dakota. Money man, a rich man. Fundraising in whichever state he is posted in. That's great. Let's post him in Texas. Because Texas is a rich state and we can get make a lot of money there. Um, yes, I favor deficit reduction, and uh, this time I'm not going to pick the same thing every time. Don't worry. Like I did last time, it was kind of dumb not to do that, but, uh, yeah, there, now we're rolling in the money. I'm going to try and, uh, slander my opponent more this time, which I did not do at all in the last one, which, which I probably should have. Let's build an HQ in Texas, you know, because it's Texas. Should have something there. Um, yeah, 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 you're not going to win Texas from me, dude. Don't even try. Virginia's a nice uh, shade of red, and I don't see any nice shades of blue yet, so I guess we're doing all right. Um, opponent favors. That's going to help him. Uh, that's, yeah, arming Syrian rebels. He favors that. Oh, that's not going to help me at all. Alright, well that was kind of useless then. Um, let's give another speech. We're going to slander him again, but how about we do opponent opposes deficit reduction. That's going to give me something. Come on, boy. Three, there we go. Now we got it down, Pat. Let's give another speech here in, uh, was it North Carolina? Yeah. North Carolina? I don't even know where that's from. I feel like that's from something. I feel like I should know what that's from, too. But I don't. So anyway, moving on. Uh, after week five, this is what's going down. News H uh, new HQ for Obama in Texas and uh, Democratic Outreach Center in Delaware. Some speeches on deficit reduction. Alrighty then, let's give a speech here in uh, Tennessee about me favoring deficit reduction, because I do. Deficit should be reduced. Um, let's go up to PA and see what we can do there. I favor reducing unemployment. Apparently PA has a lot of uh, unemployed people, as it seems, because they really love that. Um, whoops, I didn't actually mean to do that, but actually, yeah, let's see what, uh, seven, okay. Let's see what, uh, just trying to see what, uh, PR clout we needed, and it doesn't look like we're getting much, so we might want to build another outreach center somewhere, so we'll just build it here in Virginia, or West Virginia, sorry. If you're from West Virginia, I apologize. Um, Reducing unemployment. My favorite reducing unemployment. Eh, it's probably going to be a common one. Although I do say that I'm not going to do it. It's not going to be the only one, I promise. I already have done more, but... Uh, um, it's, a, it's a common one because, I mean, everyone wants the deficit to be reduced almost. Or near almost everyone. Yeah, near almost everyone, that makes sense. Ne almost near everyone. That's good enough technically proper English, so we'll go with that. Come on, dude. Come on. Okay, it's Illinois. You're already going to win Illinois. Come on, man. 
What are you doing? What are you just... You playing the whole game without me? Sheesh. Feels like he went on for like three weeks there and I didn't even get to do anything. Oh, come on. Oh, is that really the only... Uh, yeah. Reducing unemployment will do because we usually do deficit reduction. So. I favor reducing unemployment. And I do. Wow, plus four. They love that. Uh, I don't know why that's not red yet. It probably should be, because it is so... Oh, why did I... No, not fundraise. Let's give a speech. Uh, my opponent favors... No, opponent opposes deficit reduction. Yeah. Shouldn't vote for him. Here we go. Plus three. Alright, that's cool. Next turn. I believe, uh, the turn after this, I'll, uh... What is with him taking forever? turn after this I'll probably uh, um, sorry about that I'll probably try and get a um, endorsement and come on man where is he even oh okay I was going to say what is he going up into Canada he wants his voters in Canada like him <laughs> it's not really going to do much for you though buddy uh, oh, okay. Alright, now we can do stuff. Um, what, what are we gonna... What was it? I was just talking about doing... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Winning an endorsement. Seven. Alright. Gun ownership, I'm thinking. That'll be a good one. That'll get me some of these southern states. Some votes. And, uh, 47%. So... Yeah, let's, um... Let's move to West Virginia and build up this... Outreach Center. And let's fly down here. And we'll build up our, uh... What is this, an H... Is this a headquarters? No, it's an Outreach Center, too. And then we'll go here. And then next turn, we'll build up our, uh... Our main headquarters. Uh, end of turn. Alright. Uh, build HQ. Upgrade campaign headquarters. So that should give me some more... Voters in Virginia, not that it really matters. I'm already at 59%. I'm not really worried about losing Virginia. Texas, on the other hand, seems to be lacking slightly. I'm just spending a ton of money in here, though. So, let's grab some cash. And keep going here. Weekly update. Uh, campaign speech supporting Israel. HQ upgrade, HQ upgrade, uh, fundraising, and election update. What's this? Obama takes an early lead in the race for presidency. We'll just have to fix that. Um, yeah, we better win this. I mean, we're George Wash if George Washington got beat by Obama, there's something wrong going on. Uh, it's probably my fault. Flying, big, firing big bird. Man, there's a lot of stuff to talk about in Texas. Let's see if there's anything good we can talk about. Oh, yeah, alternative energy. I do? Sure, I... So. We'll end that subject there. <laughs> we'll say our Canada likes <laughs> alternative energy. Um, yeah. Although, it's probably not the case, but... Uh, what a shame as soon as you're... Uh, slapped with a stiff lawsuit, of course. So, oh, great, now I have practically no money. That's real nice. Hollywood friend taking a quick breather from the spotlight at Hollywood stardom, a critically acclaimed movie star is scheduled the next several weeks to endorse president presidential candidate George Washington freely moving to wherever. Cool. Oh gladly. Freely move wherever. Sure. The O'Malley. O'Malley scenario. Right. There's no uh no, uh, try and reference there. The next president is going to have to deal with illegal immigration. If you are president, what are you going to do? Crack down these sanctions. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not going to target them. Sometimes you have to... Two competing values. We want immigrants to be able to feel safe. I uh, am reporting crimes. Sanctuary cities are definitely something we will have to keep a look at. That's good. 
What about uh, the border? Will you secure the border? Uh, no, let's let's yeah, secure the borders. All right, they liked it. All right, that's good. Uh, the deficit is getting ridiculous. Our grandkids are going to end up having to pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, nothing to worry about. Yeah, I don't think that's a good answer. We obviously need to raise taxes. I think that's a good answer. Uh, they didn't think that was a good answer, but I thought that was a good answer. All right. Well, uh, uh, Washington alienates base. Poor interview showing makes independents wonder who Washington really is. That's not good. Um, but unfortunately, that's all we have time for for this episode, and I'll catch you in the next one. This has been a new um, episode with play. Uh, Political Machine 2012. If you haven't checked it out yet, definitely I would recommend this game to buy. It's only $4 and it, you'll have a lot of fun, trust me. Okay, I'll see you later, guys.